Guess what I have? Coffee machine! Yep, another one. Is it good though? Mmm. Hello again, I'm Nathan. You're watching What's My Fault? And yes, coffee machine time. It's been a while. So, this is the Melita. What is it called? Look, firm timer. As I said, I got some vouchers from work for various things recently, so I've been buying a couple of bits and pieces. I actually got a voucher from Samsung as well for doing some training on their website, which is fun. So I'm getting goodies lately, not many, but a few. So that's why I get to do this, because I can't afford to buy stuff anyway. And yes, I know I had too many coffee machines, but I got rid of some because I wanted this one. A few reasons, but I'll explain them in a minute. Let's just get it in. Yes, it's a coffee machine and I love coffee as you know. Right. Obviously it's quite a good make. Retails for I can't remember about £50. So $60, something like that. So we have instruction book. <coughs> filter paper. Cardboard. Much better than having polystyrene. Polystyrene is annoying. Not environmentally friendly and it gets everywhere. Oh, well, that's so nice looking. And the plug. And an empty box. Hey! Right. Okay. Don't need cardboard. Right, let's get this out of here. I'm looking forward to this. Right. I will explain my reasoning behind buying yet another coffee machine. Momentarily, let's get this off here. The easiest way, pull it all through. Of course, we shall be trying it soon, but. Alright, that's good for there. Best one as well, we shall open. That has some nice weight to it, wow. I'm too used to glass ones, I've wanted one like this for a while. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Oh, find even more out. Woohoo! Not gonna be doing that right now. Can't, because I got, well, I gotta use my tablet. Yeah, no, uh, never mind. All right, okay, so. Why another coffee machine, you may ask? Well, I've got several pods and so on. I've got rid of a few. My main coffee machine was a big, the longy one that, I think it was the longy one. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. That had a filled coffee one side, espresso in the middle, and then milk frother and so on for doing cappuccinos. Now, I've got other things to do espresso. I don't use froth milk, so it's pointless having one built into a machine. I've got a little milk frother that I use if somebody comes over to have like it or I fancy cappuccino or something. Right, I can do that, don't need it. But I wanted something more like this, because that one, it was good, but it had a hot plate. Um, after a while, the coffee goes a bit, because <clears throat> it's staying hot and it keeps cooking it and it just gets a bit like bitter after a while. I wonder one had one of these. Because me being lazy, yeah, I like that. Me being lazy, I make a pot and I can bring that anywhere. I put it in the living room if I'm playing computer games or something else. Would have been great during lockdown, but yeah, I didn't have any vouchers and stuff till after lockdown. Typical, because now I'm back in work. But it means I don't have to keep going into the kitchen. I want to have a cup, I can just go eh, pour it and it'll stay hot for like two hours. Really good. The other thing, it has a timer. So I can set it the night before. Yeah, the coffee's not as good the night before if you, you know, Put it and grind it the night before if you use grind which i am going to grind my own more often because i do have a little grinder much much better much tastier coffee so it means i can do that which is ideal so if i'm lazy i can set it and i can wake up to a nice fresh smell of coffee and oh, yes i know i have an alarm clock that'll smell of coffee if i wanted to but this is bad because it's real which is cool okay so we've got the on off button calc button so descaling well, it won't actually calculate anything, the calc is for like deep scaling as well. Timer, and then the buttons for the clock, plus and minus for the timer and for the clock. Easy. Water container there, which opens on the top, if you can see. Nice, easy, both sides. The thing I do like, both sides have a reading, so you can look either side, see how much water you've got, which is a really, really cool feature. If we open this up, yay! Oh, it's free and one kite protection. Programmable water hardness, calc alarm, decalc program. Okay, that's nice, so that comes out. Ooh, I'll look 
made some filter on the back there. Okay, so that's all it is. It doesn't have a permanent filter, which my old one had. And to be honest, I wanted to go to paper filters. One, it's a lot easier because you can just get a bit of a paper filter and there's less to clean up because I'm quite lazy. So that's quite cool. Right, that's quite nice. I quite like that. Okay, if you see on the top of there, can you see that? It's got quite a lot of, right, let's move that out of the way for ease of cleaning. All right, so if you can see, can you see in the top of there? I'm not sure if you can, but instead of just having one spot, it's got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and a center nozzle for the water, so it will distribute the water evenly around rather than just in the middle and you're not getting much cough flavor. So it has got quite a good rainfall effect on that, so that's quite good. On top, there is a little dial which is intense so it, it's supposed to fight for the aroma and everything else i'm not sure how much it does what i assume it does there's a little bit of resistance when you turn it i'm assuming what it controls is the water flow out of there if you're on it intense the water will flow more gradually i'm assuming i'd have to test it and time it and find out if it does take longer and that sort of thing so cool again just plastic on the bottom no hot plate because we have this nice carafe. Now that is quite good. Now I did wonder what the lid would be like. Let's show you the inside. So all stainless steel. See plastic top. There's a nice rubber gasket there, which is quite cool. Which that fits into. So I wasn't sure what this would be like, the lid and so on, for keeping it hot. And you see that moves up and down. Which I'm assuming is part of. Where's the other bit? I've lost the other bit. It's behind me. Yeah, so it goes up and down. So, like with most coffee machines of this kind of type, you can pull the jug out and get some coffee while it's still brewing. I wouldn't because you get different strengths of coffee as it all filters through. So, I just wait a couple of minutes for it to finish. Not a long wait, but if you're really impatient, you can pull it out. So that does help. But that also seals it. So it has to physically open like that because it's, it's sealed. I'll show from the other side, what I mean for keeping a little bit of heat retention. There's two buttons on the side, pulls off. Okay, you see there, little rub, rubber gasket moves up and down. So that seals it. So it's it might be quite waterproof. I doubt it though, because the spout hasn't got a seal on it. So the only place water can get in and out, that's, oh no, that's cool. Ooh. All right, so that does seal the whole thing. Yeah, as you can see, come down, seals the spout as well, so it's not gonna lose a lot of heat, so two hours would be quite good. Now you want to do that, that's pretty good. My only concern is that, will all the water, will all the coffee come out because that's got quite a lip there because of the seal, so. I do wonder if it's going to be like a lot of these kind of firmus jugs. You don't get all the coffee out of it at the end. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to try it and see. So that's everything about that. I put the book over there, didn't I? No, I don't. The book's by here. All right. So quick look through what does it say. Safety notices. Yeah. Timer feature. Timer. Yeah. We know how to do that. Making coffee. Yeah. I know how to use the coffee. It does tell you sort of ratios, but obviously. You want to do that yourself as well. Let's have a look. Um, set one high hardness and so on. That's really about it. There's not a lot else to say about it other than to try the damn thing. So, should I quickly give it a clean and put some coffee in it and some water and see how long it takes to boil and if the coffee actually tastes good and how well this works? I think that would be quite cool. So this really is, it feels quite hefty. It's got a lot of weight to it, which is kind of reassuring that it is double walled stainless steel. Excellent. Anyway, let's move that out of my way. And I shall set it up, freshly grind some coffee, get some fresh water out of the tap, and we'll see if we can make some coffee. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've cleaned the coffee machine out and run it through a couple of times with just water just to make sure it's all nice and clean and ready to go. And you see, I've set the clock which isn't actually the right time, but it'll do. Right, so all I've got to do is just press the on button because I'm not going to use the time or anything else. So I've got coffee in there. You see, I've got water in there, so. 
there to them. I've got the flavour selector finger me jiggity bob in the middle, so it's just kind of average. And we'll see how long this takes. I'm assuming it's probably going to take about five to eight minutes, something like that. We shall see. I've got my mug ready. Clean mug. Star Wars, see. Color red and stuff. Not as good as the old ones, but yeah, see. Force Awakens, I got a whole stacking mug set. Eh, what the hell? It's something, isn't it? While we wait for this, I won't bore you with waiting for all of it. We'll just see as it starts going what's happening. That's quite interesting from the back. There's a little pipe here in the back. You can see all the hot water going up, so then it's going across and then down into the coffee itself. So it's kind of nice to see what they're doing it. But it's all clear where the water area is. Mm. Cool, okay. I shall pause things and come back to it when it's done and you'll see how long it's taking. We're on what? 6.17. We shall see. Back in a minute. Okay, we are back. It's now 23 minutes past. So, yeah, not bad timing. Looks like it's just about finished. There's no more water in it and it's just a little bit of steam and spluttering and stuff while it just finishes off the last little bit of water. So, not too bad. So, what was that? We started at what, 18, 16? So, say eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. So that's not bad for a cup of coffee. So, I mean, you don't really have to kind of pull the coffee out really, really desperate, but I'd rather wait. Okay, this is gonna be quite weighty, I expect. Oh, it is, right. Let's see how this looks. So press the button and pour it out. It actually pours quite nicely. It's not too quick, it's not too slow. It's nice and directed. And look at that, that stops really nicely. I don't know why you saw that. But that actually, I'm actually really impressed with that. That's really nice. What is the coffee like, I wonder? It smells okay. Mm, it's fine. Obviously, I may not have the mix of coffee and water right. It tastes fine to me, though. I'm quite impressed with that. That didn't take too long. But I really do like the carafe it's possibly easier to pour with that than it is with a lot of the glass jugs and so it'll keep warm for about two hours luckily because i cleaned it out i preheated the carafe so it should stay hot for quite some time which is quite a nice thing because obviously if you warm it up first and all the metal's hot inside it'll keep warm longer because you're not using the heat from the coffee to warm it up the other thing this is kind of piping hot i don't know if you can see this but i can put my hand over it and it's really, really hot. Some coffee machines I've noticed, filter ones, the coffee doesn't come out very warm. This is probably not. I drink really, really hot coffee, so I can see the steam come off it. That is incredibly hot. That is absolutely perfect. Just what I wanted out of it. So it should stay hot for a really long time. I'm very impressed. I like that. I will try the timer and stuff at some point, and that'll be really good, but I'm impressed with that. That's gonna have a nice new place in my kitchen. I can't wait, it is absolutely fantastic. So I've got loads of coffee now to drink for the rest of the night. Possibly not a good idea when it's almost what, eight o'clock in the evening and I've got work in the morning, but oh well, I like coffee, so yeah, who cares? I can drink coffee all night and still get up in the morning, that's fine. Anyway, I'm impressed with that. It was a good buy. It wasn't overly expensive. I said it came with a couple of filter papers. I, I bought some more. I could use permanent filter, but to be honest, paper filters give a slightly better flavor than the mesh ones, which I've been wanting for a while, so but I was too lazy because I had one so I didn't bother buying filter papers now I can get filter papers and it's nice and I do freshly ground coffee so yeah not bad at all well thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed that it's not much else I can really say about it I think I've covered everything you've seen how quick how long it takes it's pretty good I said it'll keep hot for two hours number four filter papers that's about it. It's a coffee machine. What more do you want? It's got a timer. Fantastic. Okay, that'll do. I'm talking for no reason now. So thanks for watching. Please come back again and see me soon. And like, subscribe, comment, all the other stuff would be fantastic. So thanks. Bye bye for now.